Hello, OE Global 21. Um, Erica Hargreave here, and I am thrilled to be back for another virtual OE Global conference. Uh, and this time, I'm um, the, the sort of the, the talk and that I wanted to share with you is all around exploring the web monetization standard as a potential solution for sustainability in the creation of open educational resources. And so this is something that my team and I have been on a journey on for the last year with, uh, with Grant for the Web, um, thanks to a little nudge from, from David Porter. And so we've been on this journey sort of exploring what web mon the web monetization standard is and experimenting with it uh, with our sustainable funding series. Uh, and... Uh, and, and through that, starting to create some, some educational resources around web monetization, um, since it's something that we've become very excited about as being a um, kind of a game-changing potential solution for open educational resources. And uh, so let me take you on that journey that we've been on. So first of all, um, for some of you, when you hear the word web monetization, you're probably thinking and probably cringing slightly because you're thinking ads, affiliate marketing, pay-per-view, freemium models, influencer marketing, brand ambassadors. So just off the top, that is not what the web monetization standard is. This is something new and something different. Um, and it's something new and something different that uh, has basically been created in order to make the web a more equitable place uh, for creators. So technically, it's this newly proposed browser API standard that allows for the generation of a payment stream from the user, so in this case I would be the user, going directly to the website that's being viewed. Um, so as I said, it's trying to solve the problems of creators um, getting a very small amount of the revenue earned um, from their content that they put online. Um, and so uh, the way that, um, that the very, um, that the minds that are behind this have been working on, and it's, it's, it's Interledger who's behind this, um, that have been working on to make uh, the web a more equitable place for for creators is basically allowing them to earn from micropayments from the time that people spend on their content in the digital space. That sounds all awesome. How does it work? And uh, and so as we get into to this, um, one of the things that I just want to state right off the top is that this allows people to earn without the creator actually having to spend any money on anything other than their, their time to, to get their content um, web monetized. Uh, and it also allows a creator to earn without doing anything like uh, putting up any barriers to entry. So, so somebody like myself can, um, whether I've, I've got uh, a web monetization um, whether I'm paying into a web monetization subscription or not, I can still access that content um, with without any paywalls or anything like that. And and so I'm I'm going to show you how all that works here in a minute. Um, but basically, right now the system that's in place for this is that uh, Coil, um, which is is sort of the company at the moment who has created um, sort of this this subscription model around web monetization they currently sell uh, for five dollars us a month um, users uh, like myself a monthly subscription and so my monthly subscription each month for the time i go and spend on any digital content that's web monetized uh, some money flows from from uh, from my subscription each month to the website that uh, that I'm spending time on, or the digital content that I'm spending time on, um, 
and there's also some of the sites that have been um, experimenting with ways of web monetizing content online are also doing that through enabling tip tipping uh, of XRP with with some. And so, but what I want to emphasize here uh, is the creator can get web monetized without spending that five dollars a month. Um, so, so I could web monetize my content without buying that subscription, which I think is really important when we're talking open education and when we're talking about this being sort of equitable. If you can't afford that, that's okay. You can still earn from web monetization. Um, I, I choose to have a subscription and the reason why I choose to have a subscription is, is, is simply because uh, through this whole process I have discovered um, a number of people out there whose content that uh, I really appreciate and I'm learning from and so I want to give back to that community, which is which is why I do have a subscription for five dollars a month uh, for Coil. And so I'll show you what it looks like if we go into uh, our site. So this is our our classroom platform. So it's um it's a learning management platform that we've set up with uh, LearnDash and uh, WordPress and. On here, you'll see, um, you know, my site is fully accessible. We have chosen to, uh, for the most part, most of the courses on here are fully accessible courses uh, without a payment, unless unless they're a private course like like our BCIT camps or, um, you know, sort of the pri private classrooms that we create for film sets, but. Um, courses like this one are, are open access. So when you first got onto the site, you'll see that there was a little bubble that just came up and that bubble just informed people that the site is web monetized uh, and that uh, if you've got a web monetization subscription, um, some of your subscription for the month is, is, is going to uh, support our site. Um, and so myself having a web monetization subscription, the way I know that there is that transfer of payment right now coming from my subscription to this site is you'll see up in the top corner here, there is uh, the little coil icon and the little green dot to say that um, that money is flowing from, from my subscription for, for the month to, to the, this website now as I spend time here. Um, and with the little bubble that comes up, um, you saw it disappeared quite quickly, but uh, uh, people could have also clicked on it to get it to disappear. But it just forms people what, informs people what this is all about so that uh, if they too wish to support our content in some way, they can get themselves, their, themselves a subscription. But it does not um, limit people from being able to access our content. Uh, and, and that's our choice because we want to be sharing this openly out there. Um, now, if, um, if and, and this is totally fine within the way that web monetization works as well, is if somebody wanted to put, uh, to create a gate on their content that only people with a web monetization subscription can access, that is possible too or you can have some of the content free and then after a certain point, um, if people want to access the, the rest of the article, then the rest of the article or the rest of the course um, can, um, can be gated with web monetization too. But just, just off the top here, you do not have to have any gating to earn from web monetization, which, which is why I think this is a game changer for um, for open educational materials is because open educational creators can earn while keeping their content fully open. Um, and right now with the way uh, this space is working, um, it, it's, it's, it's really interesting. It's still early days, so there aren't a ton of people out there with these subscriptions yet. 
However, I probably earn on our content um, anywhere from uh, a few cents to a few dollars a day. So it does pay for the maintenance, um, like, you know, for, for our, our website costs. Uh, and there's been some other ways uh, through web monetization that we've been earning that, that, that would um, also, you know, give me a bit of financing to, to keep our courses updated on, online as well. So, and, it, and this has been really interesting because um, we haven't got a ton of our content out there that's web monetized yet. Um, but, you know, when I kind of look at comparatively with the small amount of content that we've gone through and we've web monetized, um, and I look at that comparatively with uh, the, um, so some of our videos that are on mainstream streaming sites, so like some of our documentaries and stuff like that, and we're supposed to be earning from, from, uh, from, you know, the time people spend on, on that content, I see far less that we're earning from that than that we're earning from, from this web monetization. And the beauty is, is it comes directly into our digital wallets each day. And so now I'll just show you how this is set up because it's super, super simple. The way this is set up here is um because we've got a wordpress site and there's a wordpress plugin for coil all we have is we've got the coil um uh wordpress um um the, like the the web monetization plugin here uh we have a, a payment pointer and so this payment pointer um is what where it signals coil to to send the payments to for the time that's spent on our site so that goes directly into our digital wallet uh, and then you'll see that it has really simple ways of allowing me to uh, enable um, and disable you know um, uh, web monetization on our various different different pages um, and and it also allows us to add exclusive content and if we go to any given um it also allows you to change the message that kind of goes out with uh oh that's those are the places where you, people will see that message and then then it has an area where it allows us to um allows us to, to change what the, the message is that goes out with, uh, with our various pieces of, of, of content on our site. Uh, so, and I'll show you this right here too, um, because it allows us to actually change um, the monetization settings on any given post or course making it like super, super simple to set all this up. And, and that's just what this button is here on the side. We can, we've got it. So our default here on our different courses is to enable and make public, but we can easily click, uh, click disable on that as well. So, and then the best part of this, um, and this part is actually really exciting to me um, as somebody who, who is sort of the, on the managerial side of an open like a learning management system is if I go over to my users on here and I hop into our instructor accounts on any given instructor here it allows me to um, it allows me to enable um, them to actually earn from the web monetization. So I was I was actually looking for oh Lori's she's she's rather than under instructor she's one of our admins. So hang on a sec here. Uh, so if I go into Lori's account on here, I believe I've already set up a payment pointer on here, for, and I have. So you'll see right there, so Lori's got a payment pointer. So any of the content that she's written on the site, um, 
that uh, the, the web monetization earnings don't go to the site on that content. They go directly to Lori instead, and uh, which I like because it's kind of, um, especially on our open content, it, it allows our instructors to, to earn later on and kind of earn, earn in, in the form of royalties on their content and all without charging anybody anything to, to view our content. So yeah, so this has been, I, I've been finding this, this really, really exciting. So coming back over to our slides here, um, there's also like, so right there I was showing you that with um, uh, specifically with uh, a WordPress site, it can be done with code on any other site as well. And, and there's all sorts of different uh, tutorials that'll help you get set up on, on different sites. There are some um, social media sites that are coming out that are, that are web monetized. Uh, there's video sites that are coming out that are web monetized. Uh, there are web monetizing games out there. Uh, you know, sort of streaming sites like Twitch. Uh, and as well as like, you know, sort of a big call in the community out there at the moment is for, for podcasting. Now there's, there's no huge, um, sort of podcasting platform for that yet, but, uh, a, a bunch of podcasters have got different solutions for doing that. And I, I can show you ours right here. So, um, when we go to story to goes main community site which is right here and you come under our resources we've got podcasting with my cat who has uh, she's she's sadly not with our video right now often she'll come for a little visit but she's not here right now so anyhow this is um this for example I'm I've been partaking in a few different uh, podcasts, including our sustainable funding series, um, but also one on this new platform, which I'm having a lot of fun with, um, called uh, Fireside. Now, I can't. Um, Fireside is not web monetized, um, and and that's that's a reality with a lot of podcasting sites is they're not web monetized at the moment. But what I can do is I can then take my recordings um, from. Uh, that we've that we've recorded on Fireside, and I can come over and put them onto our digital magazine here on Story to Go, which is web monetized, and I can also upload them to uh, to YouTube, to Cinnamon, to um, um, so that so that people can enjoy them um, in in each of those spaces in a web monetized way. And so, yeah, that's really cool. YouTube, you can actually web monetize your YouTube account and you can do that one from directly within your coil account. Uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek at that. So if I go to coil and I believe I am already logged in. So I'll just click on my settings and monetize my content. And you'll see right here, it's, it's got uh, all sorts of ways to, to make it easy for you to, web monetize um, different mainstream sites. So at the moment I've got, uh, you know, two of our YouTube channels um, listed here that are now web monetized. And so if I go to story to goes YouTube, I'll just click on this video and give it a second and you'll see, there we go. Our videos on here are web monetized. There's certain platforms with your Coil subscription where you can only set the, you can only just like enable that um, that channel to be web monetized. If you go over to certain specific and specialty tools, like for example, Cinnamon here, which I'm on, when I go into our account on Cinnamon, and I'm going to go specifically into uh, our uploads, so I'll click on drafts here and then on my videos and so if we take if we take a look at um, this video here um, this fellow Adam who is who we did this video with I know that Adam is web monetized and is a part of the community so what we've done here is we've set up the payment pointers so that um, 
while we get half of the revenue splits on that video, the other half of the revenue split goes to Adam. And, and you can add multiple people in there. So, uh, for example, in that Encounters, um, an EdTech podcast that I did with Lori, we also did with um, Pamela, who's in the web monetization community. So it, on that video, we've set up a three-way split between, um, between story to go Pamela and 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 Lori, so that we're we're all earning on cinnamon off of that video, which which is really exciting. The other nice thing about this is the number of of different sites and content uh, that you can web monetize to is 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 increasing. And so as as I showed you, we've been experimenting with that with WordPress uh, using the Coil WordPress plugin. Um, we've been experimenting um, through Cinnamon and, and this whole idea of being able to do revenue splits with, our, um, with the different creative people on, on a project. And I'm, I'm really excited about this with Cinnamon when it comes to our documentaries because it means we can do a revenue split with our director, with our, our you know, hosts or special guests on a, on a, a documentary. Um, and, and, and other crew members too, like if we've got a PA or we've got a production manager, or we have a B camera or we have uh, a hair and makeup or wardrobe person, everybody can, can get a little piece of that revenue split. Um, and when you think about that with open educational resources, it, it just, it makes things more, it makes the creation of open educational resources uh, more sustainable for your entire team, which is really exciting. Uh, as I mentioned, um, there's cropping up some, some new social media platforms that are web monetized and where you can also receive uh, tipping through Zoom. And so there's been two sort of main ones so far in MG Social and GFAM, which is kind of more of an Instagram site. Uh, GFAM is, is, is currently on hiatus, but MG Social is active and is growing at the moment. Um, oh, and there's also uh, a forum site. So forum, uh, which is F-O-R-E-M, is um, they've actually made that whole, that community um, sort of, of forums uh, web monetized too. So, so you can add payment pointers in there. And, and that's actually what the web monetization is using for their, their own community is, is, is they've got a forum there. So um, with any you know, new technology out there, there are growing pains. Um, one of the growing pains with web monetization. Um, and so, for example, Adam, who we've interviewed from GFAM, this is one that he's encountered as he's been trying to at, like invite people to come on to GFAM and educate them what web monetization is all about. He's been met with a lot of scares, uh, fear and skepticism because it sounds too good to be true. Uh, other growing pains, um, the name web monetization, um, a lot of people think of it as what we would have previously thought about as, as monetizing content online, um, which I'm sure went through some people's heads at the beginning of, of the talk or even before you sort of came into the talk. Uh, there's, um, we need to have different providers for web monetization out there. Coil is, is, is awesome and excellent and so supportive. Um, but in order to grow an ecosystem, we need to give people different options. Uh, and so that's, that's, people are working on that at the moment. There's also, uh, we need a larger subscriber base, uh, in order to, to actually make this, um, uh, make make this sustainable a long time and and then there's there's also sort of some negative or fearful outlook associated with this um, just simply because because uh, it is connected with cryptocurrencies um, cryptocurrencies are tied to micropayments um, however 
the reality is, is you can set up your payment pointer to be paying you in whatever currency you wish. So, so far in my experimenting, I've had um, payment pointers that have paid me in US dollars, in Canadian dollars, and in XRP. Um, and so it's entirely the, the user's choice as to, to what they set their, their payment pointer up as. With those growing pains, there are also opportunities. And so the big opportunity that's here right now is Grant for the Web. And so the reason why Grant for the Web is a huge opportunity is because they are um, basically the funding organization that's trying to fund fixing those growing pains and helping to foster and grow um, the, the web monetization uh, community and ecosystem. And so they're trying to, they're, they're basically looking to fund things that uh, will build new platforms that are web monetized out there, that'll, that'll, um, that will dive into more research into web monetization um, and, and what its potential uses are. They're, they're, um, funding people who want to experiment with different funding models around web monetization. Uh, and then they're also, um, they, they see one of their, the huge groups out there being um, the creators. And they're specifically, because they're wanting to make a more equitable web, they're trying to reach different niche communities out there. So, um, and, and people around the world. Um, and so, yeah, if you've got an idea, and, and, and the beauty is, is like, you know, it doesn't have to have, like, you can have a project that has to do with, like, in the first round of, of, of grants, they had projects uh, that had to do, were telling stories around um, ballet and, um, and dancers that, uh, that, that, that were outside sort of the, the norm in, in, in ballet and sort of telling their stories. They had people creating mindfulness courses. Uh, there was a, a gentleman who uh, was creating a series of online stories that were inspired by his little son. Uh, so they're for kids. Um, uh, there's like all sorts of different, um, um, you know, there's a gentleman who was starting up uh, a business um, selling different, uh, um, you know, sort of herbs for healing and soaps for healing. And so there's all sorts of different projects and like a lot of gaming things as well and gaming competitions. But there's all sorts of projects that were going on out there that are all pulling in these different niche communities across the web. Uh, and as, as they built, um, you know, a, a vast array of different, you know, interesting projects out there, uh, they, they've been spreading the word on what web monetization is all about. So Grant for the Web has been funding them. Uh, unfortunately, everybody just missed the last call for proposals because it, uh, last call for, for proposals, the deadline was, um, was, was yesterday as I, as I make this video. Um, but there will be another one coming soon. So, so keep your eyes out there for that. Uh, and I wanted to show you, cause this is, where did I put that? This is one of the things that, that we've been building is to give people an idea of what exists out there. We've been creating, first of all, a, a resource library that gives people an idea on where to get started and what the current ecosystem out there looks like so that they can sort of start to, to navigate it themselves and, and explore different ways. Like you can even web monetize your events with Skittish, which is a really fun site. I used it in our summer camps with uh, my BCIT students. Uh, well, they're kids that were taking, taking the camp from BCIT and the kids just love the space. Uh, so yeah, so there's all these different, uh, you know, bits of the ecosystem out there that you can you can begin to explore 
but there's also just to give you an idea of the types of stuff that people are web monetizing I haven't finished this this is a work in progress right now but I've been building a library to direct people to the different web monetized content out there from blogs and digital magazines to businesses to courses to events games movies podcasts social networks stories um, you know health and wellness studios teaching and learning resources and web series and I'm sure I will be adding more and more different categories to this thing this area over time including one of the categories that we've got under the uh, resource library is uh, research papers into web monetization where you can kind of do deeper dives into discovering what what the various different researchers have been been finding um, in the web monetization space so far so yeah it's exciting it's an exciting time to to be in this space and I'm really excited to see what's going to come out of this this next set of uh, uh, of, of grants. Um, so another way that there's opportunities out right there right now in the web monetization space is it's a low barrier to entry. Um, you can right now go and web monetize your previously created um, open educational resources and other digital assets and it's super easy to do that super quickly. Um, you saw how easy it was on the back end of of the story to go classroom site it did not take us long to do that there's more and more ways that the web monetization communities finding to web monetize mainstream platforms like YouTube like uh, WordPress um, there's early adopter incentives on the platform so last year cinnamon was doing the cinnamon boost uh, for their creators and that was all kinds of wonderful because that was, you know, some unexpected earnings that we had that's been helping us to further foster um, uh, some of the resources that we, the educational resources that we've been creating around this. And it's a wonderfully supportive community of early adopters that are currently in this space. And so for that reason alone, I, I'm thrilled that, that our teams ended up on this journey because we're meeting a lot of really smart and really interesting and really diverse group of people through this um, this this whole journey. Thank you so much for for joining um, me in this session today. And uh, as I mentioned, we have built a course on web monetization and. So if you want to take a deeper dive into exploring and learning what it's all about, uh, this is an open access course and we will put the, the link down in, in the conference notes so that, uh, so that you too can take a bit of a deeper dive into the space. And thank you. Bye for now. I'll see you in the rest of the conference.